Welcome back to more Lord of the Rings Online. In the last episode, I finished book 15, and with that, volume 1. The Shadows of Angmar is complete, the tide has been turned, Mordorith is defeated. It's time to move on to volume 2 in the Mines of Moria, but hold your horses, there's still lots of preparations I have to do before we can do that. And let's begin with some of the prologue quests me your aid once more? for volume 2, if you remember. Let me actually, before I do this... Let me pull this up. We had the forward for the prologue here. There's multiple NPCs around Middle-earth that give you this quest. And basically it just told you that Elrond wanted you wanted to speak with you about an urgent matter. And I picked up this quest way back in the day. I don't remember when. But let's go ahead and speak with him. Dark days are coming. Welcome, Kippen. I am pleased to see that you are well. This is a safe journey for no one. Not even the doughty men, dwarves, or elves. And for a halfling to come so far is commendable. A small company will soon be setting forth on a mission of great secrecy to combat the lengthening shadow of the evil that spreads across the land. I am loath to speak in detail of their errand, but know that it will do great hurt to the enemies of this age if they succeed. Several of your people have chosen to be part of this company, even now they prepare to depart. I ask that you aid those halflings and their preparations. You are of their kind and may lend them courage for the task ahead. You will find them in a room on the first floor of my house. The lodgings of Bilbo Baggins. Aid them as you can, for much depends upon their courage. So I gotta help Pippin, Sam, Mary. Or not Mary, but Frodo. And a little bit out of order here, because if you remember in Eurekion, we were kind of chasing the Fellowship as they moved over the mountain, Karajos, and into the Mines of Moria. But I shouldn't have put off the fort as much as I did, but I didn't want to finish the first volume before moving on to this. Anyways, that's enough rambling. I think he said he's here in the Hall of Fire. No, no, he's in Bilbo's room. Hold up. Bilbo's here, so that's why I got confused. I think we're over here. There we go, Bilbo's room. Alright, so lots of people to speak with here. Let me... I think I want to talk with Sam and Mary first. So there is Samwise Gamgee. Might I speak with you a moment? A small bit of flint, spare cloth for stitching patches, what am I forgetting? Bless me, I know it's something I'll be needing. Oh, hello there, Kippen. You've caught me in a bit of a pickle. Too much packing to do and not enough time in which to do it. Bad enough to leave something at home, what we'll be needing when we're strolling through the West Farthing. But worse, when you're on a trip like the one Mr. Gandalf has planned for us. Do you think you could run up to the forges of Rivendell and pick up a few items from Grafton for me? I'll write up a list, of course. Now, what am I missing? Alright, and let us talk. There's Mary, but let's talk to Pippin. Hello there. Might oh. I speak with you a moment? Hello there, Kippin. I'm afraid the company has enough hobbits for now. We outnumber each of the other races, you know. Although Mary says that Gandalf probably counts for more, whatever he is. Mary and I just got back from a nice long stroll around Rivendell, seeing the sights and keeping out of trouble. I borrowed a splendid walking stick for our hike from Elrond's library. It was simply excellent. I wonder if you would let me bring it with me on the journey. Probably not. He didn't want Mary or me coming along after all, but Gandalf put in a word for us. A wizard would know we wouldn't stand to be left behind. If you wouldn't mind, maybe you could visit Elrond in his library and thank him for the use of the walking stick. Tell him I will come along and drop it off before we leave. Finally, let us speak with Frodo Baggins. Please, stay a moment. Hello there, Kippen. It's always a pleasure to see a fellow hobbit, and this far from home too. I imagine Elrond was reluctant to let you know about the journey we are leaving on, but I think Gandalf might have had something to do with the allowing of it. He is very mysterious as usual, but he generally, ha generally has his reasons, even if we can't see them. My uncle Bilbo wanted me to write up some notes of my adventures so far for his book, so I took a walk on the sunny spot here in Rivendell and started writing up a few things. Before long though, I found myself getting drowsy and when I awoke, I forgot all about my papers. I seem to have left them out there. If you don't mind, do you think you could bring them back to me? I was resting in the stone pavilion at the M M Dolan Lookout just north of Rivendell. You will find my notes there, I'm sure of it. Alright, so lots of tasks to accomplish here. 
And I guess let me begin by speaking with Elrond on behalf of Pippin. I wonder if Pippin finds my name amusing. Kippin and Pippin. Off doing some mischief here in Rivendell. A strange fate brings you hither. You say Peregrine took borrowed a walking stick from this library? There is no such item kept here. Surely the young hobbit did not mistake the scepter of a Numinous for a common walking stick. I trust Gandalf without question, but still I have my reservations about Mariotic and Peregrine joining the company. They are young and do not understand the dangers ahead. They will remain with the company, but I am displeased with the youngest hobbit. Peregrine should return to Scepter that he... that, that need not be stated. Oh, Pippin, already causing trouble. Already causing trouble. Alright. So before I speak with Pippin again, let me go ahead and do some of the other things. Such as going to the forges and then finding Frodo's notes. Alright, let's go. So, Frodo's notes is all the way up in the north. And then the forges. All the way in the east. Let me go to the forges first. Or west, I mean, not east. Frodo's notes is by that lookout where Arwen is, actually. They really tuck these forges in, like, all the way at the back. How can I be of service? Yes, I do have all of these items, but I cannot accept these coins from Master Gamgee. I gift these items to him as a member of the company that bears all our hopes and will brook no argument. Besides, I have little need for monies of mortal kind. I give him these items freely and would give any member of the company all that I could, though it be n in no way comparable to the burden each of them carries. Return to Master Gamgee and tell him that any items I have are his for the errand of Aelrond. That's nice of him. So, I got a package of goods, I got... A coin purse as well. Next up, let's go grab Frodo's notes. Actually, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way already. I think I should be able to make it back to Eregion towards the end of this episode. And then we can continue the quest there. I don't think there's too much left to do, honestly. Just some more quests in Mirabel. And then we should be able to move on. Now, Volume 2, once we're done here with the prologue, is actually going to start at the Walls of Moria. So I'm probably going to save that towards the end of the season. That way we're naturally progressing from Eregion towards Moria. I think that makes more sense. The only downside to that is that the unlocking of legendary weapons does occur through Volume 2. So, probably not going to be using legendary weapons in this season. Probably going to be something for next season. Or very late this season. So there's Lady Arwen. 
Welcome, Kippen. You are a long way from home. You have come for these notes. I hope Frodo is not upset at my having read them. He has weathered many adventures already, but I wonder how many roads still await him and the rest of the company. His uncle would need more pages than this to write of them in their entirety. He has come now only from Hobbiton to Rivendell. How many more pages will it take before he sees his destination? We all have our parts to play, Kippen. Such men such as Aragorn, dwarves, even hobbits such as you and Frodo will have an impact of the great events of our age. Yes, even I have a role to play, though my time has not yet arrived. Return these notes to Frodo with my good wishes and with my hope that he can return to Imdolan where his errand of the company is finished. There to sleep once again in the sun. Alright, so I think I can do this and it'll be a little bit faster than just riding all the way back. So certainly getting ready for the next big chapter of the game by helping the hobbits on along towards Moria. We're doing the same for ourselves. And again, this guy is volume 3, which obviously I'm not ready to do. Haven't even started volume 2, man. We're just getting to that. So Bilbo's room right there. Hello there. Did you thank Elrond for the use of the complimentary walking stick, Kippen? Rivendell really is a hospitable place, isn't it? The, the Scepter of Anuminous? They shouldn't keep it in a place where people will assume that it's a free for anyone to use, Kippen. Well, I will just bring it back to Elrond and say there was a little misunderstanding and... Oh no, it's gone. I must have left it out there and forgotten to bring it back with me. Now that I think about it, I don't remember using it in our way back, Mary. You're a hobbit I can trust, Kippen. You've got to find it for me. There were some large gray stones in the northern part of the valley that we climbed on top of, west of the road that winds up the mountains right next to the great forges. I must have left it atop of those large boulders. Dang it, I should have talked to him before leaving because it was right there. Oh man. Hello. Thank you very much for buying these goods for me, Kippen. I wouldn't have sent anyone but an honest hobbit to do it. I don't mind telling you I gave you enough coins, I hope. He wouldn't accept my payment? Well, that's queer, and no mistake. Always pay for your goods, Samwise, and you'll never want for them, is what my old dad always says, and I've always done right by that. Elves are a strange folk, putting such importance on us small folk, and them so great and noble. Still, thank you for running my errand. These goods will surely help me on the next. Oh, I can't believe it. I really should have talked to him before I left. Dang it. I didn't think he was going to send me on a part two. Hello. You have found my notes, Kippen. Thank you very much for bringing them back to me. Though now I look at them, they seem very short. How very different it was to live through these few lines. Did the elves feel the way looking, looking back on their long lives? How strange it must be. Does time pass more slowly for them or more quickly? We, what, must, what, what must it be like to remember so much? I suppose we will never be able to understand that, Kippen. We are simple hobbit folk. And that's what we will say, I imagine. Thank you f again for your help. I know that Bilbo will be glad to have these notes. Oh, I could have been done. Dang it. All right. I'll fast forward this part. So it's actually above the cliff on the other side there. So let me see if I can get up there. Dang it, I can't believe it, man. Because I had to come all the way here to get Sam's stuff, so could have knocked out both of these. Alright, it's too late. It's too late for that. I'm done complaining. Let's see if I can find this stick. I'm 
not seeing it anywhere. It looks like now I'm out of the quest area. Let me go back up here, take a second look. Might be a little bit higher. I don't know if I can get up there. Said it was by the stones, right? There we go. Unusual walking stick. Why can't I jump? There we go. Oh my gosh. It's weird to jump with a horse. It's, I don't know. Sometimes it doesn't work like you would expect. Alright, let me do this again. Just in time, Kippen. I will return this scepter to Elrond as soon as I get a chance. I'm a little busy right now, but I will get it sometime. I hope Elrond isn't too upset, and that he still lets me go with Frodo and Sam and the rest of the company. Being left behind would be a terrible punishment. I wonder why no one sees it that way. Every time I say that to Strider, he just smiles and agrees. But I can't tell if he's just humoring me. Thanks again, Kippen. You can always count on a fellow hobbit when you're in need. Alright, let's finish up by speaking with Elrond. Can't get a good angle. Thank you for helping the halflings with their preparations, Kippen. Gandalf says your people that they are that they have unseen reserves of strength and are stout of heart, and I hope it is true. Much depends on the success of the journey they will undertake. Will you lend me your aid once more? The time has come for the company to depart on their errand of secrecy, Kippen. And as you have been some assistance with the preparations, you may join the members of my household as we see them on their way. Tell me when you are ready and wish to and uh, ready to wish them well. It is time, Kip, and let us go with my household to wish the company well. The household of Elrond Half Elven gather to bid farewell to nine brave adventurers entrusted with a secret task which could mean the salvation or doom of the earth. I Gandalf the Grey must lead them along dark roads. So here we have Frodo. We got Sam and Bill the Pony. Who we've already helped out in the region, actually. But ignore that timeline inconsistency. We got Legolas, more townspeople, the brave Boromir, Merry, and Pippin. And we got Mr. Gimli over here. We are missing Aragorn. There he is, Mr. Aragorn. All right, speak with Frodo. Everything seems ready, Kippen, and we're about to leave. Hopefully, I will see you again once all of this is done with. You take care of yourself, Frodo. Adventuring is dangerous business. It is, but look at all the help I have. You're right, Frodo. You can't go wrong with a Took and a Brandy Buck and a Gamgee. Solid hobbits all. Keep an eye upon these lands while we are away, my friend. Our errand is a dangerous one, but there will be many dangers behind us too. And my footsteps will be easier if I know that Kippen remains behind to protect against them. My own journey will carry me far from here. Anduril will go to Minas Tirith, but my roads falls out of the company for many leagues. Right, and speak with Sam. Samwise, you dunderhead, you've gone and forgotten to bring a bit of rope with you. I knew there was something you had forgotten. Hello there, Kippen. It looks like this is it, and we're about to head out. Check in on my old gaffer from time to time, will you? 
Lord knows when we'll be done with all this whole business. Bill here will have too much to carry as it is, and I've lightened his load as much as I can. You're in for it now, same as we are, Bill. Go to look after each other, we do. Got to look after each other, we do. Fredo is coming down here. Let's see what he's up to. No, he's just hanging out. He's just moving. Okay. This is it, Kippen. Wish us luck, and we'll be sure to come through okay. Leastways, we'll make sure to lend Frodo all the help we can and do whatever Gandalf needs us to do. We'll see you when we get back, and that's a promise. Come on, Pip. It's almost time to go. I'm ready. I was just saving my energy, Mary. Alright, next. Speak of Bormir. So begins a new journey. Let us go forth boldly, I say, rather than skulking from shadow to shadow, and let the enemy quail at our coming. Are we ready at last to leave? I will be glad to put this waiting behind us. Always do I wind my horn at setting forth, let the enemy quake at its call. That was ill done, Bormir. The strength of the company Aaron is in its secrecy. Yet we must leave like thieves, Bormir, or risk detection. Come here, Kippen. The number of the company has been chosen, Kippen, and any more would threaten the success of its mission. You have business remaining in Eriador, brave hobbit. Defend its people from the lengthening shadows. If the errand of this company fails, Eriador will have need of heroes before the final darkness. You have done your part, Kippen. This burden is for others to bear. The quest is setting out on the quest of Mount. Do the company is setting out on the quest of Mount Doom. I ask no oath or bond of you, save Frodo alone. You go with him as free companions. Any who abandon Frodo will answer to my axe. A fool vows to walk any road. When he knows not where it winds, Gimli. Such a vow might lend the full courage to strengthen his heart, if strength it needed. Rely instead upon each other, and take what counsels you can. Go now, and with the blessing of all the free folk, farewell. Come on, Bill. I guess we'll wave. Farewell, sweet Imladris. You will stay always in my memory. Mary? What is it, Pippin? I'm hungry. Classic hobbits. So there they depart over the last bridge out of Rivendell. Pretty epic. This is a giant milestone in the storyline, and I love that it's becoming more intertwined with my gameplay. So that's really cool. That's what I really enjoy about this game is you really get to follow in the footsteps of the Fellowship and really enjoy some of the events from the books and the movies. Let's go ahead and speak with Elrond. It is done, and they are beyond my aid. For all my wisdom, I cannot see the end of their road. May they come to it in safety and return to Rivendell in victory. And so the company departs. May the stars shine upon their roads in. Let us go back inside, Kippen. There is nothing more we can do for them. The company must now rely upon their own strength and wisdom. Hope is not in vain. It is done, Kippen. All our hopes now rest upon the nine members of the company. Nine walkers to stand against the nine riders of the enemy. May they come to no harm and return in safety, their task completed. There is nothing we can do now for them. We must stand tall against the shadow and keep its attention focused upon us, far away from those who can do it the greatest harm. 
That is your task now, Kippen. Do you accept it? So let's see what we got here. Mark of the Fellowship. Resistance, Vitality, 10% chance to deflect 10% damage. Not a big fan of that. I think I like mine better. Alright, and we're done. Elrond has nothing left for me. So now, we are in a position to return to Eregion and continue questing there. So, let's see. I think... There we go. Return to Ikadunon. Let's go there. And then I think we can take a swift travel to Miraville. Because I think that's where a majority of the quests are. So there is a quest ring here. I'm not sure. Oh, that's the one from last time. This is the... These are those three quests that I'm going to have to come back to at some point. Hopefully towards the end of the season. And then this guy right here actually starts Volume 2. But I'm not ready to do that just yet. Because he's going to send me in here, which is the Walls of Moria. So I want to finish up here in Eregion before I start moving that way. Hey, so let's go to Mirabel. Yeah, really, there's only Mirabelle left, this whole quest area, and then we should be ready to move on. And let me actually dismount. And what am I doing? I'm collecting iron and also a symbol of the white hand. Actually, I probably don't want to go... That way, I probably want to stay on this side of the bridge. Now, the symbol of the white hand may be found among the enemies throughout the lands of Akon Mirabel. So, yeah, I should kill a few of these and hopefully one of them will drop something. And I got something, I got a quest item. Opening the message reveals orders from the Captain of Angmar. We are to dispatch forces to the Elflands of Eregion and their search among the ruins for any remnants of their bygone era. Outlying ruins are to be secured, but the main thrust of the forces will be upon the Ring Forge itself. Chieftain Gersh will be in charge of this expedition, a testament to the Orc's great assistance in our clandestine warfare. Serve him well. The message ends there. The Elves present at the Ring Forge may well want to know of this message. It can be found far to the southwest in the ruins known as Ikad Mirabel. So before I go do these quests, let me actually go speak with somebody. In case they send me on a similar quest to kill more enemies around here. That way I'm not doing the same thing three times. Let's go up the road. Mirabelle is a little bit hard to get to because you kind of have to wind up this path here. My thanks, Kippen. We know that the Angmarim are further defiling the ruins of our past, but we now have greater information on what they seek and who leads them. This information will undoubtedly prove useful. We shall redouble our efforts in searching among the ruins here in Ekad Mirabel. I wonder though, if you would be interested in some other work involving the Angmer. Alright, I thought he was going to give me a quest. It sounded like he wanted to, but he didn't. So I actually think this is a pretty decent stopping point. So I hope you're enjoying and I hope you're excited to finish up here in Eregion and then finally push towards the walls of Moria and begin volume 2, so thanks for watching, be sure to join the fellowship by hitting the subscribe button, I'll see you next time.